So I'm going to read you a book called Boss for a Week. And I want you to think before we read this book, what do you think it would be like to be boss for a week? What kinds of things would you do if you were the boss for a week? And the story is by Libby Handy and the pictures are by Jack Newnham. So what would it be like to be a boss for a week? Let's find out. Boss for a week. If I were boss on Monday in our house, in our house, I'd make this rule. All people living here coming in from work or school must change their clothes immediately. No bare feet either. But, Monday the 5th, notice boots must be worn in the kitchen by order the boss. Biscuits may be eaten at any time. Giggling is permitted. So these are some rules if he or she was boss for the week. Little Caroline, sweet Caroline, neat and natty darling Caroline may go straight out to play. If I were boss on Tuesday in our house, in our house, I'd proclaim all people living here must be inside this house by five o'clock on the dot, except for little Caroline, sweet Caroline, prompt and punctual darling Caroline. She may stay out later, even if it gets a little dark. Prompt and punctual means always on time. So her rule is she gets to stay outside, but everyone else must be inside. If I were boss on Wednesday in our house, in our house, I'd insist all people sitting at the table about to eat must get up and wash their hands and faces too and their knees. Everyone except toothpaste must be squeezed in the middle. Towels and clothes may be left on the floor. What well, sounds like Caroline's making all the rules that are not showing kindness. Little Caroline, sweet Caroline, clean and gleaning, darling Caroline, she may start her dinner. So if Caroline was boss, she'd be allowed to eat her dinner without cleaning up first. If I were boss on Thursday, in our house, in our house, I'd announce loud and clear. If Dad's got the leftover meat lo loaf in his sandwiches for lunch, then... Little Caroline, sweet Caroline, hungry, starving, darling Caroline, she shall have the same. Certainly not spaghetti. I guess she doesn't like spaghetti sandwiches. If I were boss on Friday, in our house, in our house, I'd tell them straight. All people not having to attend school tomorrow may stay up as long as they like and watch television, especially little Caroline, sweet Caroline. Perky, wide awake, darling Caroline. And she may choose the channel too. Does she look like she's having a good time? She stayed up as late as she likes. She looks a bit sick to me. If I were boss on Saturday in our house, in our house, I'd instruct the grown-ups. No chores for kids today. No making beds, doing dishes, hanging out clothes or dusting. Anyway, not for rich Uncle Bill, head office, no boring jo jobs done today. There's the shopping list. Little Caroline, sweet Caroline, good and helpful, darling Caroline. Oh my goodness. I wonder if any of your rooms look like this. Stories shall be read every night. There's a picture of her silly brother. Animals may sleep on the bed. She needs her rest. The little Caroline doesn't want to clean up because she has made a big mess. If I were boss on Sunday in our house, in our house, everyone would know who gets the wishbone and the biggest heap of ice cream. Two helpings, who but? Little Caroline, sweet Caroline, always eats her dinner up, darling Caroline. And it's not conditional on eating her vegetables either. So she gets to have dessert even if she hasn't eaten all her veggies. 
If I were boss for just one week in our house, in our house, I'd make them change their ways. And all the little Caroline, sweet Caroline, that golden, golden headed angel, that paragon of virtue, that beautiful, wonderful, marvelous she, that dearest darling, me. Boss. Monday. Guess what? She's handing the boss badge back. I wonder if it really would be great to be the boss all the time. Might seem like fun to be um, not having any rules, but bosses have to make rules sometimes. I hope you enjoyed that. And I wonder if you would like to be boss for a week. See you next time.